Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you well and making the most of your day. If you are new here, I'm Christopher, and welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited to have you. If you like lifestyle, luxury, skincare, product reviews, planning, and organization, stop and look no further, my friends, because this place is for you. Literally, there is something on this channel for everyone. And if you like those things, you might as well click that little red subscribe button and join the community. And if you're going to hang out with us here on YouTube, you might as well hop on over to Instagram. I'll leave my handle right here on the screen. I would love to catch up with you over there as well. I post daily and comment back and forth and it's just a really great way to build community. So join us over there so we can hang out and get to know each other. Today I am bringing a much requested video. Probably one of the most frequently asked questions is, do you and Steven have a cleaning person? And the answer is no. We keep our house clean all on our own and we actually enjoy it. And for the most part, it's quite simple, but there are some tips and tricks. So everyone has been requesting a clean with me video. Now my friends, I've watched clean with me videos. I even started to film one. And ugh, I don't know, I just felt like it was so boring. If that is still something you are super interested in after this video, please leave a comment down below and I will make it happen. But today I wanted to bring you the tips and tricks and hacks that we use in our home to keep it really clean. You guys know I vlog frequently and there is very rarely anything out of place. And that's not because I'm making it look good for the vlog, that's really how we live. There's never a moment in our life where I am nervous that someone's gonna come over and see a mess. I literally welcome people into our home anytime because I know it always looks good. And it's because of the tips and tricks I'm going to share with you today. I'm gonna break this video down into two parts. The first part is going to be habits. These are the everyday tasks that you should just build into your routine in order to keep a very orderly home. The second part will be some tips, tricks, and cleaning suggestions that I use here at our house. So uh, let's dive into the eight habits. Habit number one is very simple. It is make your bed. I find that if you start the day off with a very well-made bed, and doing that one chore, it sets your mind frame for keeping things tidy throughout the day. Now, in our home, Steven is the bed maker because I get up way before him and he is typically the last one laying in it. On days when I am off, I am the bed maker, although Steven will tell you that he makes a better bed than me and I would have to agree. But by starting off with a nice neat bed, it sets the tone for a nice neat day. Tip number two, do not go to bed until you put things away and back in their place. We do not head upstairs to go to bed until we put back any throw blankets we're out. I rearrange the pillows in the way that I like them on the couch. We pick up any of Bubba's toys and put them away. We make sure the sink is completely empty and everything is in the dishwasher because we usually run it at night. We do not leave anything out. I will tell you, when you come down in the morning to a nice, neat space, it motivates you to keep it that way. It also just makes for a really calm start. So start building the habit of not going to sleep until things are put away. Tip number three, make sure everything has a spot. This is so logical and simple, but you would be surprised at how many people don't have a spot for everything. In our home, we have a designated spot for everything. Our remote controls go back on the tray on the entertainment center. Our blankets go to one bin. Bubba's has three different toy baskets around the house, so there's always a spot to put a toy that he might have moved around the home. Everything in our home has a space. What that means is we're never looking for anything. Nothing is ever lost. We are able to locate everything. But when you're cleaning up, you don't waste time thinking about where to put something. If everything already has a space, it is really clear where it should go and it expedites the entire process. Tip number four, make sure you have cleaning products at easy access. Now, people with children and pets that get into things, clearly you don't want to have toxic cleaning supplies sitting around, but there are a lot of great organic non-toxic products you can have out. I keep quick cleaning products that I would need that have multiple purposes and multiple uses 
right in our kitchen counter. They look like a piece of decor and I have them there because there's never an excuse not to grab them quickly and clean up a mess or clean up a spot that you see really easily. When you have to go and dig and get things out, you are less likely to do it. So keep your cleaning supplies in one spot so you can grab them quickly and take care of things quickly. You'll find that you are more likely to clean things up. Tip number five, leave your shoes at the door. Not only does this keep them out of the way and keep hallways and entryways clutter free, but it also massively reduces the amount of dirt that is tracked through your home. Steven and I are really fortunate to have our mudroom right off our garage before entering any part of the house, and that is always where our shoes go. It is a very rare occasion, and I would say it's if we forgot something and have to run in the house quickly, that we ever walk through the home with our shoes on. And we do ask guests to take them off when they come to our house. So leave your shoes at the door. Not only does it reduce the clutter, it also reduces the amount of dirt. Tip number six, take care of your mail and break down any packaging that you get the instant you are done unpacking it. You would be amazed at how many times I have let clutter accumulate because I haven't broken down boxes or taken down packaging that has come with a product that I've ordered or have let mail stack up. So many of you can probably look into a corner of your room where you have an Amazon box that has been unpacked for a couple of days. Break it down immediately and get it out of the space. When you have clutter, it only attracts more clutter. Get rid of it immediately. So what are you doing? Go ahead, go get rid of it. Tip number seven, set a timer. Whether it's in the morning or when you get home from work, set a timer for 15 minutes to do a quick clean. Now here's the deal. You have to have implemented habit number three, which is everything has a spot. Because if you don't have that habit, you will never get the amount accomplished that you would want to get done in the 15 minutes. But if everything has a spot, you would be amazed what you can accomplish in a 15 minute quick tidy up around the house. You can have things completely clean and a relaxing space for the rest of the day in a simple 15 minutes. On the weekends, you can extend that to a half hour or an hour. And if everything has a spot and you know where all your cleaning supplies are, you will get so much accomplished. But by setting a timer, it is this automatic motivation to keep moving and get as much done as you can within that time spot. Number eight, this is a habit that I have picked up from my mother. She is the queen of this, and that is clean as you go. My mom and I have made Thanksgiving dinner in this very kitchen for over 20 people, and we clean as we go. You would be amazed at the impact that that has. My mom never cooks without cleaning as she goes. So at all times, she's making a meal, her kitchen still looks spotless. That is just a habit that she has created. Not only does it speed up the process because she's usually multitasking while something else is happening, she's already cleaned up the pan or pot that was used. So she really maximizes the time and always keeps the house looking really tidy. Nothing is worse than when you see a big stack of dishes after dinner and you're like, oh my gosh, now I have to clean that. And what happens is you step away and you let them sit and they attract more clutter. And then before you know it, you have this sink full and an hour's worth of work. Cleaning as you go will save you time and it will also keep you motivated to keep things tidy. Now that we've talked about the eight habits of keeping a really clean home daily, I wanna share my tips, tricks, and hacks that I use around the house. One of my favorite tips would be to always start from the top and work your way from the bottom. Whenever I'm doing a big clean on the weekend, I start from the highest spaces. So in the living room, for example, I'm wiping the top of picture frames. Yes, wipe your picture frames down. They get so dusty, you would be amazed at how much dirt is on your picture frames. Then I start with the mantle to the entertainment centers to coffee tables and I work my way down to the floor. That way, anything that you are cleaning ends up on the carpet, any extra dust or dirt or lint. And then the last thing you clean is the floor, you sweep that all up. You will leave your space so much cleaner. And it is amazing to me at how many people will vacuum and then dust and you're just putting it back on the carpet. So start from the top and work your way down. Tip number two is one that my grandmother shared with me so long ago and I've done it ever since and that is to clean your baseboards and trim work with dryer sheets. Not only will it leave your house smelling super clean, it also attracts all the dust lint for us. It's some of Bubba's dog hair laying around the house. Um, it attracts and sticks. 
Now, you will go through a massive amount of dryer sheets, so we pick them up at our local wholesale store so that you don't feel as guilty going through an entire box because you got a really good deal on them. But I'll tell you what, once you start, you will never clean your baseboards with anything else. Tip number three is I still believe the best thing to clean your stainless steel appliances with is a little bit of water and a little bit of white distilled vinegar. I find that it takes off any residue that you have on your appliances and leaves them with a very nice shine. I have tried every other trick from the olive oil to the specific sprays for your appliances. I'm telling you, white distilled vinegar water half and half has been my go-to for cleaning down our appliances and they've never looked better the next tip is one from my genius spouse steven which i had never thought about but all of our glass light fixtures around the home he will oftentimes about every other week unscrew all of them and run them through the dishwasher how many times have you tried to clean a light fixture while it's still hanging on the fixture and you're like contorting your hand and no matter what you do it's still streaky and then you get lint from the paper towel and you're actually more frustrated after the whole process than you were before you began it because it was dirty. Steven just takes them down, runs them through the dishwasher. They are left spotless and sparkling. You put them back up and they look beautiful and it has saved you an immense amount of time. It is one of Steven's tips and I had to share it with you because I never thought to do it until he started. And my last tip for you is a lint roller is your best friend. I know you know to use them on your couches to get off dog hair, but also it's a great way to give your comforter a refresh and get any fuzz and dust and dirt and hair that might be on it off. But there are some other ways to use a lint roller that you might not have thought of. It is a nice way to get a really quick clean on your curtains, especially at the bottoms of them where a lot of dust and dirt attracts to them. And lastly, my favorite use for a lint roller will be on all of your lampshades. Lampshades get dusty. By running the lint roller over them, you capture any dust that has collected on them. You will be so surprised if you've never done this the first time you lint roll your lampshade because you will get off so much lint and dust and your lampshade will look lighter and brighter. All right, my friends, those are my habits and tips, tricks, and hacks to a daily clean home. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. And if you still want a clean with me video, make sure to leave a comment down below and I will make it happen. In the meantime, I'm going to leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, my friends. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.